So for looking at the background of states of matter, just what are uh, the characteristics that describe a solid, a liquid, or a gas? You want to check in with your textbook on chapters 3.1, or rather chapter 3, section 1, and chapter 3, section 2. This is so that you can understand and recognize when a matter when matter changes states. It's going to help you out with your, um, your poem that you're going to write later on. You're going to be able to use all of these terms in there. So in your textbook, you want to look for the characteristics that describe a solid, a liquid, and a gas. Now, some of you are going to say, hey, wait, there's plasma. That's one of the states of matter. And it is, but your textbook doesn't go into that. So we're going to keep the detail on the pieces that your textbook most supports. So we've got volume. That describes how much space or what kind of space your matter is going to take up. The shape, so how flexible is that shape. The temperature, and depending upon the type of matter, water is going to have a different temperature at a solid than, let's say, mercury. And composition, what is it actually made up of? We're going to, you're going to have a chance to compare those between solid, liquid, and gas. And as you think about these changes, it's okay to think about a specific type of matter, for instance, water. You can think about how would you describe the volume of water as a solid, most people would talk about it as ice, or a liquid, which would be like a glass of water that you would drink, or a gas, which we would see if we see it as steam. Then down here, you're going to talk about the vocabulary that we use, the terms that we actually use to describe the solid state, the liquid state, and the gas state. For instance, steam would be something that we would use to describe a, a gas state of many types of matter. And then down here, again, out of the section of textbook or from your own knowledge, you can come up with some examples. I just gave you water, which means you can't use water, but there are lots of other materials, lots of other matter that we have studied in the past and that you will study in the future where you can talk about three different states. There are even some types of matter which really don't have three states that really just have two states. It's okay if you refer to one of those and just put an X in whichever state. It doesn't exist. Well, or doesn't exist outside of extreme lab conditions. All right. Good luck. And when you get done with this, you are going to play a game with two other people that have also completed this assignment. 